Hey everyone, I'm back for the last pour of the night. Um, I just realized that my previous video recording, the rotation of my camera was sideways and I did not realize that. So I really hope there is some way that I can rotate the video clip um, for when I upload it on YouTube because if I can't then it's gonna be a sideways video unfortunately um, so fingers crossed I can Google an answer on how to rotate that video clip because uh, it was sideways and recording the wrong way so oh well what are you gonna do as I said it's late. I don't know why I'm up this late, but this is the best time for me to do this kind of stuff when everybody is sleeping. I have two little kids, so it's almost near impossible to record anything during the day while they're awake. So while they sleep, I play. So that's the result from the previous pour where it was horribly bad and I scraped it with the uh, popsicle stick. Uh, so last one for the night. Um, a lot of people ask how I mix my white. So I ran out of white on the last one. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit more so you can see what I do. So I have a cup, I have, I use this. Sometimes there's clumps in the flow trowel um, especially when it gets near um, the bottom of the bottle. Um, so just to be safe, I always use a strainer. So I am going to fill this up almost three quarters of the way maybe. I don't need that much for this piece here, but I wanna fill up my bottle because this is empty too. So let's fill this up. All right. That should be good. All right. No clumps in here, which is good. All righty. So it's about, as you can see, almost a full cup, just up to there. So now I'm just gonna add some Artist Loft white. Again, I have no ratio, I just wing it. We'll start with that and if it needs more I'll add more it's definitely gonna need more make sure you scrape the popsicle stick get any white paint off the stick off the sides give it another stir So let's see, uh, I think I can add a little bit more. It's a little too runny. So we'll add just a bit more. There we go. That should be good. the stick, the sides. Make sure you mix it all in. It's very hard to tell because it's white paint with white flow trawl, so you can't see if it's fully mixed or not. So it's always a good idea to stir it a little bit longer, make sure it's all in. Perfect, so I'm just gonna fill up my bottle here. 
bought this at the dollar store in the uh, kitchen section. Uh, works perfectly for my art needs. All right, so we'll fill this up. Perfect. The lid back on. This thing is great. You can just store it away with all your supplies and when you need it, it's already done and ready to go. Okay, so let's get going on this last one here. Pour the white. Spread it out. Make sure you get your edges. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. The rest will fill in later. Okay. All right, there's no sense in wasting a glove. It's only got white paint on it. Clean it off. Okay. Torch all the bubbles. All right. So for the last piece tonight, I'm going red. Red with a hint of yellow. I was going to do rose gold with red and then I changed my mind at the last minute. So I'm going to do yellow because yellow and red make orange. So I figured this could be like a sunburst maybe. So colors will be uh, Liquitex Basics. It's uh, Alizarian Crimson Hue, Liquitex Basics again. We've got the Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And one more Liquitex Basics of the Naphtho Crimson. And my yellow is the Pebeo or PBO, I don't know how you pronounce it, Studio Acrylics, and it's Opaque Primary Yellow. So there you have it. All uh, right, so let's start. And this time I'm gonna start down here. If you watched my previous video, which is the green one, I totally messed up and started in the middle, which is not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to start down here at the bottom. And we'll start with this red. Fan it out a bit there. All right, then, so that red was the uh, Lazarian Crimson Hue, and this one is the Naphthol Crimson, so we'll do that next. And last is the Cadmium Red Deep Hue. And then yellow. And we will see if this looks good, if it's gonna look like the sun or if it's gonna look like a mess. So I think I'm going to add a smidge of red in the middle again, there. We'll see what happens. So that is a lot of paint. Should be enough to blow it all out. Let's add the white around. I'm gonna 
add more up here. Okay. Oh, look what I did. Oh, well. Pop the bubbles. Do I like that there? Or is that really going to annoy me? Because I'm so picky. So, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Because I'm going to blow white over it anyway. Silly. Okay. So, let's blow it over. Oops. All right, and let's blow it back. See what happens. Cross your fingers for me. Interesting. Not bad. I want, let's see, there's want some yellow in there, but overall, not bad. Let's see how we can. And we'll go. This way. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not a huge fan of red. Um, this to me is so-so. I'm, I'm not crazy about it, but I know there are people out there who uh, love red. Me? Eh, so-so. So let's go. That's better. I wish there was more yellow on this side to match what's going on on this side, but we can't change it. But maybe if we torch it, maybe we'll get some yellow. A little bit. white cells and that's about it so that's it on that I don't know guys not my favorite at all um, but I'm gonna leave it I don't want to scrape it like I did the green one because it's, it's not horrible, but it's just not my colors, not my type of colors. I'm going to blow. I don't know. Oh, well, so that's it. I will let's see. Yeah, no, that's it. I'll bring you in for a uh, quick close-up and I will sign out for the night because I am exhausted. All right. So there she is. Some nice yellow there. The yellow is really pretty. I just wish there was more 